Hey everyone, I'm Dark Quarter, and welcome back to Gone Home. Now, last time we spent pretty much the whole time kind of rifling through Sam's room. And that mess was there when I got here. And now, remember if I did this, go investigate some more stuff. Hey Sam, do you want to see Pulp Fiction after school at the Coliseum? It came out last weekend and Tony won't shut up about it, so either it's good or we can make fun of him for liking it. My mom is supposed to cook dinner for us tonight for a change, but I can just ditch out on it probably. What time? Also, isn't that movie supposed to be really violent? Am I going to barf? According to Todd, it is pretty hardcore, I guess. Uma Thurman gets stabbed in the heart with a heroin needle, so that's kind of hilarious. Also, something about cheeseburgers is important. Todd wants to see it again. 7.15. Okay, don't barf. Ha ha ha. All right, see you then. Heart burger equals barf. Yay. Well, I think I actually did see Pulp Fiction before, and... Uh, wasn't really my kind of movie, I guess, but not that it was bad, necessarily, but on any rules, All right? Just, you know, it's my kind of thing. Let's turn off the faucet, on it. Don't know. Is that? Wait. Mild color. My permanent hair color. Okay. Lonnie brought her hair dye over today. She said, I need to fix these roots. Think you could help? Dying hair is weirdly intimate. I don't know if I've touched someone else's scalp before. That's pretty intimate, right? It felt intimate. We looked in the mirror together after, and... I expected her to say something about how it looked crappy, or good, or whatever. But that's when she said, You're so beautiful. And she was looking at me. Right in that moment, I wanted to say something. But I waited. And the moment was gone. some intimate moments happening there, apparently. Oh, uh, well, I guess it's possible that the phone is out. Maybe someone did try to call, but Storm knocked it out. Possible. Dear Mom and Dad and Sam, I am in the channel. This is my second passage through the channel. I'm on my way back from London, this time going to Brussels, Belgium. Sorry I didn't write you on the way to London, but I was too excited about the channel. In all caps. London was great, Dad. I know you've always wanted to visit, and I think you really should. You'd love it if you all wanted to come back here as a family sometime. I guess I could be convinced. Love you all, Katie. Alright. The postcard that I apparently sent. Open these books. I wish I could. I don't know, maybe that'd be too much programming or something. I don't know. All these leaf coasters. Mitten. In love, cat. Caitlin needs. Oh, okay. Age five. I don't like it. Nothing exciting on the TV. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, the Fugitive, all the President's Men. Let's just show how old all these parents are. Uh, hmm. Inside Edition, May 24th. They're pretty. Uh, the Sound of Music. 
Hmm. Uh, sons of lambs, yep. These are old people. The VCR is gone, though. Hmm. Maybe... I don't know. I mean, it seems like... They were almost robbed or something now. I mean, all the VCRs and game systems are gone. They wouldn't just take that stuff out. You know? I mean, the parents wouldn't just, you know, decide to take off the VCR for a reason. this Walt Whitman okay bookmark uh bookmark yep that is it I mean take your time I'm glad to have it in good hands Rick okay family photo They look really excited to be in that picture. As all family photos are. Nothing in the tissue box. Letter. Dear Jan, oh honey, let me tell you, I understand how you feel. Bob and I have had a down periods. Our down periods. It's become a bit of a way of life, actually. You get used to each other, you live your own lives in the same house the kids grow up they go away I'm sorry this isn't helping is it don't worry Terry will get over whatever is distracting him things will go back to normal and as for Sam being distant that's a teenager for you nothing to worry about in the meantime though this controlled burn that sounds like quite the adventure but let's cut to the chase this new ranger thing they sent that's what I want to hear about uh, Ranger Rick, you have to be kidding me. It's too perfect. You have to tell me everything. And send pictures. I want the whole package. Wait, that sounded wrong. Keep your chin up until Terry is out of his slump, and in the meantime, write more letters to your old friend Carol. She adores them. Sweet. I mean, it sounds like Sam left to go help Lonnie with something. And maybe the parents left to... Go look for Sam. And it seems like all the VCRs and game systems are gone. But Sam did mention in one of her notes that she might have taken some stuff. So maybe that's the reason for all the Know, disappeared VCRs and stuff because Sam took them for some reason. Maybe she had to sell stuff quick, get some cash for something. I really don't know. Doesn't seem like a cool thing to do, though. But I have no idea what else really could be going on. I could be totally wrong with some of that stuff. I don't know. And open these cabinets. Sad about it. In here. Another bathroom? Why do you need two bathrooms? Eh, I just want to use up all the water. Eh, what do I care? I'm not paying for it, right? By the way, I'm one of the wet bandits. So, you know. There's that. Okay, this is where I came from upstairs. That's the parents' room. Over there was Sam's room. Then a bathroom down the hall. So now looks like the final part of the upstairs is this. 
Oh, an attic too, huh? Sam's dark room did not enter if red lights are on. Okay. And that those fossils are gonna come back to haunt me, aren't they? Anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. Keep being cool, and I'll see you next time.